Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, I'm going to bring you a comparison video because you guys have asked for it. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give me a thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Guys, we are nearly at 5k. Oh my god, I'm so, so pumped. I'm excited. I'm thankful. I cannot wait to share an amazing giveaway with you guys. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you share my videos. And yeah, so... Before I start this video, I just want to make a little disclaimer that some of these um, opinions are, well, not some, all of the opinions are my own, of course, but I did not go through Fragrantica to review these perfumes because I feel like Fragrantica sometimes can be a little confusing for me anyway, and I'm sure it's for you sometimes, probably. Um, so I decided to go through Jean-Paul Gaultier's website to actually see what they wrote about the perfumes and now I'll tell you guys what I feel about the perfume. So, I'm going to start with the original um, La Belle, which is this one right here. Very, very beautiful, sexy silhouette of a woman. The bottle is just absolutely incredible. I really love it. So, this on Jean-Paul Gaultier's website is described as it is for the attractive woman. Now, this is available, if you guys see me glancing over, it's because I'm glancing over at my notes so that I don't make any mistakes or leave anything out. So, this is available in 30ml, 50ml and 100ml. And the notes in this perfume are bergamot, green pear and vanilla pot. And it's described as a green oriental perfume. Now, I've heard a few things about you know, name me something oriental. Um, I don't want to say too much because I'm not fully informed about it, but I personally don't use the term oriental to describe perfumes on my channel. I have done at the beginning before I knew better. But anyway, I'm just telling you that Jean-Paul Gaultier's website described this as a green oriental perfume. To now, me, this smells like a very sweet, candied, kind of like Turkish delight. If you guys know Turkish delight, it's like this jelly like sweets that is wrapped in sugar and it comes in different flavors like rose um citruses orange and all like it's a very beautiful sweet perf um, perfume sweet like candied sweets that are just really really soft and very yummy that's what this reminds me of it's very fruity it's very sweet it's very to me an everyday sweet perfume now when would i wear this perfume i would wear this perfume Probably more in the spring and autumn. I wouldn't really wear this in the summer because I think it might be too cloying. But for springtime, it's still okay. And the beginning of autumn, I think it smells amazing then. The longevity on this perfume is like 8 hours plus. This is a very, very long lasting perfume. The sillage on this perfume is incredible and it projects about arm's length. Like people will smell you. Like they don't have to be in your surrounding. They can be like an arm's or even two arm's length. They will smell you because this perfume definitely projects. So I love it. You guys can see like I've used quite a bit. Like I have a lot of perfumes and for me to have gotten through this much, it shows how much I love the perfume. So this is La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. So the next perfume we're going to talk about is La Belle Le Parfum and this is the Intense. Now I've got the 30ml bottle but it's available in 30, 50 and 100ml bottles. This is available literally everywhere and I cannot remember when it came out. I think it came out sometime last year or yeah sometime last year this came out and this has notes of um green pear jasmine vanilla and tonka bean and it's described as a gourmand oriental which i completely agree with the gourmand part now this is made for the sensual woman so remember the first one is for the attractive woman and this one is for the sensual woman to me this is a very deep heavy dense um very rich smelling sweet perfume it's very very sweet but it's sweet in a in a really good way you definitely get those pear notes you definitely smell the tonka you definitely smell the vanilla like everything in this one is amplified in this one plus the jasmine there's the dna of this is definitely here but this is a lighter version of this when i say lighter it's not like extremely light but in comparison to this it's definitely lighter i hope you guys are following on yeah 
so the longevity on this one is 10 hours plus maybe 12 hours even 14 this lasts for such a long time like i've worn clothes that i wore this perfume and i can still smell those clothes days and days later so these um so the longevity on this is 10 hours plus the projection doesn't project as much as this one actually which was a little bit surprising to me i feel like this projects maybe just just about arm's length but not all the way it sits around you like it forms like a bubble around you but the projection is not there but it does last a lot longer like for me i'll give you guys an example delina and delina exclusive for me delina projects but Delina exclusive doesn't not as much anyway so i feel like the first one created has like a home factor like it just hits you in your face and it just literally stays there but anyway the intense version is intense but it doesn't project as much as the original where would i wear this to this to me is date night this is autumn and winter perfume maybe even more so in the winter but wear what you want whenever you feel like wearing your perfume it doesn't matter for me i wear my perfumes based on my mood and where i'm going but a lot of people do ask where would you when would you wear this perfume what season that's why i'm giving you the season i think this is a more autumn winter kind of perfume or evenings in the spring months so that's la belle le parfum intense and i got myself a 30 ml bottle but the 50 ml and the 100 ml bottle as a necklace thingy going on and the color is ombre unlike this one is completely clear and the juice is a different color but anyway so that's la belle le parfum intense so moving on to the last perfume this is la belle fleur terrible it's in a limited edition so this is not going to be around for a long time this came out sometime earlier this year but i managed to get my hands on it just last week and i reviewed it for you guys so this is described on Jean Paul Gaultier's website as the resistible woman and it only comes in this size. There's no other size and this one is the 100 ml bottle. I got my hair in the UK. I don't know if it's been sold anywhere else. I literally found it in one store in the UK and I know they don't ship it internationally. I would have put their website down, down in my description by if they did. But the other perfumes, I'll definitely link them down below. But once I see this sold elsewhere, I would update my description bar. So this perfume is described as a floral amber perfume and it has notes of blue water lilies, iris and vanilla. Not, I didn't know I wasn't a fan of water lily until I got this perfume. I never thought water lily, I, I never even thought anything of it. It's just water lily. There's nothing. It's like a floral note and I love floral perfumes. But in this perfume, it bugged me there's something here that bugged me a little bit but anyway this is the lightest one of the three this perfume is definitely spring summer definitely more summer than spring it's very light it lasts for about three hours i would say in which i could still smell it on myself this literally stays very 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 closer to your skin and it has some notes i don't know if it's a c note they've not mentioned and c note sometimes makes me feel nauseous um but I've, i don't feel completely nauseous but i get a little bit of a vibe that i don't love the c note in here even though it's not they didn't say there's a c note but it's not anyway there's something here that is not working for me at all but i can still tolerate it i can still tolerate it it's a it's a nice perfume it's not a perfume that is gonna blow anyone away my sister smelled this perfume and she sensed or felt like there was watermelon and the moment she said that i was just like i actually get that it's like there's a bit of like a water lemony vibe going on but this this yage is not amazing the projection is not really there and the longevity is not the best but it smells nice so in order to compare the three perfumes I can tell you guys that the longest, the longest lasting, yeah, the one that lasts the longest is definitely um, Le Parfum Intense. And the one that lasts longest after that one is the original, followed by this one. If I was to put all the perfumes, like, you know, three words to describe them, this one would be a light, nice and refreshing scent to my nose. And if I was to describe the original one, this is addictively sweet, captivating, and fanimorous. And if you guys want to know what fanimorous is, 
Google is a Nigerian word for something that is just very captivating and intriguing and that's what I get from this perfume and last but not least De Le Parfum I would describe this one as irresistible intense and seductive so that is my comparison if um if i wanted to rank them which one should you buy first i think this is very likable i think it's near enough impossible not to like labelle it's such a beautiful feminine scent women love it men love it it's so stunning and you don't have to think about it it's an easy reach and you can wear it to a lot of places it's such a versatile beautiful perfume i would definitely say this is my first choice um for you guys um next i would say is the le parfum this one is quite deep and dark and intoxicating really really stunning so this one is the next one i would suggest and this last one you have to smell it i'm not going to tell you to get this you have to smell it first before you buy it please don't blind buy it unless you like the bottle I hope you guys have enjoyed watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe comment the one that you're most interested in purchasing or if you have any of them in your collection, also let me know. And I cannot wait to read your comments. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.